Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Fox. Our top story tonight, investigators in Mason County need your help identifying a woman's body found in the waters of a Ludington Marina. Good evening, Mark and Ariel. Not only will this election determine the next president of the United States, it will also decide Michigan senator as well as several state representatives for Congress. On top of that, six the body of a Traverse City airman who was killed in Afghanistan is back in the U.S. tonight. Barksdale Air Force Base in Louisiana confirmed that the body. It's our top story tonight. Authorities in Mason County are asking for your help finding a mother and son who have been missing since Thursday. Sheriff deputies tell 7 and 4 News that 70 year old Gail Gerbers and her 38 year old son Gregory Gerbers. One of the biggest problem areas is right behind me here on US 31 in Traverse City. In particular, the stretch from the Traverse City State Park down to Holiday Road. Drivers tell me that these roads are just packed with potholes and it's really quite dangerous. The rain and cooler temperatures this weekend have helped crews make progress on the massive wildfire in Luce County. It was two years ago that the project was first announced and now today construction has finally started on the Vogue Theater and community members in Manistee couldn't be happier. The tragic school shooting in Connecticut is being felt all across the country, including here in northern Michigan, where tonight folks are getting ready to come together and show their support for the victims, the victims' families, the first responders. And they're really just here to say, you know what, we're hurting too, we're feeling this pain, even even though we're hundreds of miles away. I'm joined by Diane Miller, who has organized tonight's vigil here in Manistee. Diane, thank you so much for being here with thank us you. tonight. Thanks, Mark and Ariel. One of the most talked about local ballot issues was the $100 million bond proposal from Traverse City Public Schools. And right now, it's still a little too early to call. I spoke to Jeff Campbell this afternoon, who says his ninth grade daughter was assigned to read the Glass Castle this summer as part of her freshman honors English course. Jeff says when his daughter right now we're seeing a really heavy wet snowfall and this coupled with the freezing rain we had earlier is creating some extremely dangerous driving condition. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen like bust out the camera. Let's get pictures and photos of this. It was while on a walk with her trusted pup Bula that Lita Olmstead came across this site. The incredible winter work of Mother Nature. Ice balls or boulders the size of giant beach balls or basketballs. And I looked literally to both sides to the left and to the right and it was just massive perfectly round smooth ice balls for as far as I could see and I was just astonished. I couldn't believe it. I'd never seen anything like it before. Amazed by what she saw, Lita snapped some pics and posted them on our 7 and 4 Facebook page. And from there, I think it got like maybe 800 shares and like thousands of likes. And overnight, I had Good Morning America and the Weather Channel and everything calling me. And so it's been a pretty crazy long weekend. <laughs> it's not that it never happens, and this isn't a once in a decade thing. It happens more often than that, but this, these were very large. These got bigger than they usually get. Some of these ice balls or boulders along the shoreline weigh up to 50 pounds. 50 pounds of solid ice. But how were they created? The water temperature on Lake Michigan is just a little bit below freezing the actual water temperature. So you get a small little piece of ice that forms out in the water. And as the waves move back and forth, it adds additional water onto this. And so it basically freezes in layers and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually you get these big balls of ice and they get pushed on shore by a lot of the wind. As these things uh, rub together. It is very much like a river rock or river stone. They get polished and sculpted into that round shape that Letta saw when she visited. Pictures of these ice balls have truly gone viral, giving people all across the country a sneak peek at the beautiful place we call home. A place that Lita Olmstead says she's proud to live in. You know, I've had questions before, like, why do you live? It's so gray and cold and there's nothing to do. But, you know, if you bundle up and go outside, it literally is one of the most beautiful things you'll ever see any day of the week, whether there's giant ice falls or not. I'm just really lucky to be able to live here. In Leelanau County, Kate Fox for Up North Live News on ABC 29 and 8.